Welcome back for the explanation video of the bouncing elytra. Let's take a look at the original one last time. Alright, pretty straightforward. There is a beetle shell bouncing between what looks like a sheet of metal and his hand. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's also a high-pitched hissing in the background. So that kind of tells me there's some high voltage, maybe a Van de Graaff generator or some other uh, high voltage source. <clears throat> so how did I do it? Um, as you heard in the last video, I wasn't able to uh, produce effect strong enough to lift the beetle shells, but I was able to lift these uh, small pieces of aluminum foil. And all I did was um, hacked an ozone generator a little piece of paper on there and made a bracelet. Sorry about that. There you go. So there's the ozone generator. <clears throat> it's supposed to run on 12 volts, but it's running on 9 in this case. And my ground wire down here was connected to the aluminum base. So give me a second. Um, I cannot touch uh, my phone when I'm charged, so hold on. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I got that on one wrist, and now I'm part of the circuit. And there you go. That's how I was able to do it. All right. Those that got it, let's check it out. Uh, only one person guessed the name of the effect, and it's called Volta's Hailstorm. That would be Electro. Go check out his channel. He's uh, got a lot of interesting stuff going on right now. Um, EPG, gas processor, um, hydrogen catalyst with um, catalytic converters, which is really interesting. Um, and we also got a uh, harp bloke again. Uh, it was high voltage. Um, so there you go. Two people got it. Let me see here. Yep. All right. Congratulations, guys. Go check out their channel. And um, once again, I appreciate the guy for making the video, even though I feel it was a fraud. Um, but it got a lot of people to look into Gerbenikov's research. So keep researching, guys. And thanks for watching.